Um, so I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just going to improvise some reflections on on the last two talks. Um, yeah, my, my overall impression is that the analysis is like amazingly accurate. And I, I just agree with every single point that was made in both talks. Um, for us, again, I'll just sort of speak to two contrasting examples. So the, well, so the, the, the example in the, um, the National Development Council, that's something that we, we didn't know that that even happened. So it's very eye-opening for us to see. Um, but two cases that we do know a lot about were in New Zealand. So the Wellington City Council consultation process, um, which we were very, very closely involved with. The positive attributes that were identified um, are very accurate. So human facilitation, uh, the Lumio team was involved in the question design and the form of engagement. They initially contracted us just to use the platform and they realized very quickly that they didn't actually know how to talk to citizens in a language that they understood. So we ended up getting involved very deeply in the designing of the questions and in the flow of the whole process. Um, and that, there were really positive elements to that and very robust discussion. When it got to the very end of the process, all of a sudden things changed quite a lot. So it was like this very positive process with meaningful discussion. And then at the very, very end, when the final decisions are being made, they're being made behind closed doors in the city government by the city councillors who were not involved in the deliberative process at all. So some of the decision making did reflect the discussion in the deliberative process and other elements of their final decision making did not. So it was, it was a bittersweet sort of mixed, very mixed experience for us. There was a much more positive experience uh, with the statistics department in the New Zealand government used Lumio. They hadn't made up their mind. Uh, they, the, the outcomes were not predetermined and they genuinely engaged with diverse stakeholder groups. Uh, we trained a whole group of facilitators in government. So we, we did this sort of train the trainer model. Uh, they ran intensive workshops with their staff and really develop the skills of good facilitation in an online space. They were also doing it in conjunction with in-person stakeholder meetings, deliberative meetings, um, with different stakeholder groups all around the country. So it was a very intensive process. It took about six months, I think, from start to finish. Um, but the outcomes were very real. So they really listened to you know, the, the opinions that they heard, the perspectives they heard and they took real action as a result. So there was a very tangible outcome. Um, so I guess when, when we work with these organizations, the most important thing for us is to make very clear uh, that, that there's a causal relationship, between a cause and effect relationship between people participating in a process and an influence on the outcome. And it seems really obvious, right? that humans are you know, biological creatures. We learn through cause and effect, like all other animals. Uh, if there's not a causal relationship between me extending effort, participating in a political process, and an effect on the outcomes, then I'll be disappointed that I participated. The cost-benefit analysis that people are running in their mind. So you know, there's all this discourse about young people being disengaged and apathetic and you know, why aren't young people voting? And it's a very simple answer, I think, at, at, at the core of that question, is while people don't have this positive feedback, this experience of meaningful participation actually influencing the outcome of a process. And most people's parents don't have that experience either. So we're born into a political system that we actually have no reason to trust. We have no reason to believe that our participation is worth it, that our participation is going to affect the outcome. Uh, so I think that's right at the core of you know, whether it's worthwhile running deliberative processes at all. If there's not a clear, visible, causal relationship, then the whole thing is, is dead in the water. It's not worth doing. Um, so I, I, just, I really, really like the visualization of the, you know, that the concentric circles model. If you don't have the political analysis right <laughs> in the center, then the whole thing is, is just not even worth doing. It's just a way of making people feel good and making government look friendly, but it's not actually involvement in a political process. Um, 
So yeah, I'm very glad that those slides are available under Creative Commons because we will totally be using them. And um, yeah, really, really, really glad to see that this is the level of analysis that's happening over here. I think it's it's really unique to have this depth of analysis. So thank you.